stage and let's put your hands together for Warren! Come on. Uh, for those who don't know me, uh, just like to let you know now that I'm not a Gary Neville tribute act. <laughs> He does try to look a little bit like me, um, and why not? Because I'm not playing with her, really. Listen, as I said, my name is Warwick. Uh, I thought I'd have a go at this. You lot, most of you, have been laughing behind my back for years. I feel you are you laugh on the face now. There you go. Um, Warwick, interesting name. Um, it's only myself, my brother Dudley, my brother Lester, and that town in the Midlands named after us. I wanted to call me Milton, <laughs> Mum won't <I'm> keen. <laughs> so he fucked off the common tree, I've never spoken to him since. There you go. And it's funny, isn't it, mate? Do you know what? It's nice to be back on the stage, up treading the board. It's a treading board. I bet it there half the dodge You know, half the six foot, playing all the roles. They used to say, You look like a young Tommy Steele. Now they say, You're just like Tommy Steele. <laughs> Tommy still talking about names, about you know, give strange names. And one person that's coming to my mind, lady, I know I mentioned him earlier, Gary Neville, he does try to look like me. His dad has been trying to give himself a bit of a bad name lately. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit fucking hard to give yourself a bad name when you're called Neville Neville, isn't it, really? <laughs> but you know what? He obviously got up to all kinds of shenanigans and stuff like that. And I'm thinking, you know, allegedly, he's up for. You know, whatever he's up for, you know, I think he's got it in the But what I'm saying is, the worst thing for me isn't the name Neville Neville, it's a real name that he's got, and I found out. Neville Bolto Neville. He's an M away from being one of my relations. Think about that. Right? And then I'm thinking to myself, who would get in a car with him? My mum would have done. And I've worked it out, I might be the bastard son and brother of the Nevilles. There's a lot of strange names about. I went to school with a guy called Butter. Same name, Butter. First name, Roland. Roland Butter. Okay. His mum was called Marge. No, not really, not really. That's just something I like to spread about. A huge number. Okay? I think there's his cousin sitting down there, actually. Her name's Claire. We keep it real, I'm not talking about, I'm not making this stuff up. Her name's the same name. So it's, you know, there's also a guy, um, uh, a little girl I went out with, and this is a true story, actually. Uh, uh, Tania. Jenny Tania. Oh, no. I'm not even funny. It's him, But to be fair, she was a bit of a cunt to be a lot down there. So it was but um, anyway, listen. Um, I as a child, obviously my dad ran away, that's a father figure, but I think that was short of uncles. Yeah. <laughs> um, Uncle Neville, never, never be one of them. Um, and you know, growing up was tough, growing up was hard, it was hard work, but can I just say, I was poor, I was picked on, we were all picked on back then. We were proper picked on, I was strong picked on, weren't we? You know? <laughs> Do you know what I did to us? Somebody could Martin Finn glass or something like that. You know the one? National Real Specs, glass the red one lens, smell a bit, started that list. You know, we used to say slow back then, didn't we? Right out before the year PC. Slow. Is that slow learning? That was slow learning. Yeah, slow runner as well, sports day. I'll tell you what, that club foot didn't help. Can I just say, life was a drag for him, but he took it on the shin. <laughs> you know, there was no labelling in those days. It wasn't any labelling, nobody got labelled, nobody, there wasn't any disorders. You could take a fucking peanut brittle to school without being burned for the fucking sake. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, what's going on? And listen, back like, then we just picked up, we were all chucked in the same lot, the same tank, and just, it would be better for it. It's all subdivisions these days.
that. Subdivision this, subdivision that. It's fucking, you know, it used to be about all the genes. Oh, get an ology, get an ology. Go on, get an ology. You go far with an ology. Sociology, psychology. Now, it's all about fucking allergies, isn't it? <laughs> We've even now got so many different Olympics, yeah? We've got the bloody Dwarf Olympics. It's not a big event. Um, this is a true story. It's a true story. Okay? The Dwarf Olympics will not let the midgets compete. How small minded is that? Seriously. And then there's a game game. That intrigues me with the game game. Do you imagine the men's 100 metres free day? I'll see the battle. There's no fucking records broken on that one, let me tell you. And also the men's pursuit chase them. <laughs> oh, okay, that's just... You know, why can't they just go into the normal Olympics? Because you're gay, it doesn't mean you can't compete. You can't, you know, you can't run as fast. Well, it doesn't mean that. But, and you think that they actually look forward to it, but it's stiff opposition. You know, you know? It's, <laughs> moving on. Um, the world's gone crazy is what I'm saying, the world's gone crazy. And people these days, you know, you've always got these people on phones all the time, and everyone's on their phones, kids are on their phones all the time, and phones have become so important, more important than people. In the street, walking down the road, you see someone fall over, like you piss yourself laughing. You drop your phone, you shoot yourself, don't you? You pick it up, notice the screen's broken, that's it, Therese born. Fuck, boss, the shit comes! And that is just the kids, yeah? Um, and, you know, just like kids are challenging. My stepdaughter's very challenging, really challenging. You know, um, she's very challenging. You know, she's just got a job in a lingerie shop. I don't think it's going to last. She doesn't think her underwear up at home. I don't know how she's going to do it at work. But can I just say, Carl Ness is my game. It goes on eBay, I get a lot of money for it. Extremes, don't they? You know, and to be fair, I heard on the local news lately that um, a young lad jumped off a cliff, beachy head, because of his terrible acne. But on the face of it, I think that that was a rash decision at the suicide spot. But you know, what do I know? <laughs> Yeah, and I was a slow developer back then as well. You know, I didn't have kids, I, was, I didn't have any kids at 15. I, um, to be fair, all my mates have done it. I was just, you know, I was a slight lad. I still am. Um, and, you know, so I thought, I'll fashion something to get myself through this. Do you remember those troll dolls? <laughs> so what I did, I got one of those troll dolls, strut striking hair, colourful, tiny face. I cut the hair off and I stuck it around my top with you, the glue. Right? Brilliant. I've got a girl called Fiona. Her name is Fiona Fiendas. Good looking. Well, she wasn't actually Fiona Fiendas. Um, and I got her upstairs in a house party. She took one look and fucking ran out of the room screaming. And I said to her, um, 20 years later when I bumped into her, why did you do that? Was it because I didn't look real? She said, no, then a ginger. <laughs> well, to be fair, the green man sat down that day. So what can you do? You know? Anyway. <laughs> I am um, working in a coffee shop. Uh, coffee culture is quite pretentious these days. You know, you know what I'm saying? Um, we get a lot of the newsy mountain mothers coming in. You know the ones? Hi, huh, they're on the way back from a fracking campaign in the Balkan. Uh, hi, can I have a skinny decaf? Soya, milk, unsweet, fair trade, double shot, double hot, extra fair trade, latte, maybe plenty of water. And by the way, is that Kate got sugar in it? Fuck off, love. The other shoe shows that way, no cows are there. We're all right for that. I'm all right for that, let me tell you. I'm going to say, you know, the pretension seat, there's a cup of coffee now that costs over £100 a cup. Right? It comes out of the droppings of a mongoose, a silly mongoose. Right? I'm all right for that at all. And it reminds me, do you know what it says to me? It's like a bad night out of the prostitute, in my opinion. I'll tell you what, it'll leave you, it'll, it'll suck, but I promise you, it'll leave you with an empty wallet. And a very bad taste in your mouth, let me say that. Okay? And people do seem to have their heads from out their asses even more these days. Okay, in my opinion. I met a mate Lotson on the go, he said, I'm on my way to Sydney after. 
fucking sick of it, huh? How many they sit around, they drink posh brandy and smoke expensive Cubans? Right? No, cigars. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and, um, you know the first rule of cigar club, in my opinion, don't fucking go, it's just for me. Just stay at home. Listen, I do have to go, you've been fantastic. My name's Warwick, good night, thank you. So we'll get you.